The other side is so near and yet so far. The bridge over the Narva River is part of the heavily guarded border between Russia and Estonia. Marina Tadyshevna crosses over as often as she can. She lives on the Russian side of the bridge. Her parents and sister live in Estonia. We're only separated by a few kilometers, but sometimes I need as long as four hours to get over the border. That's a real problem. Sometimes it would be nice to just go by for a cup of tea and chat, but that's not possible because of the border. During Soviet times, when Marina was just a child, Narva and Ivangorod were twin cities, despite belonging to different Soviet republics. Everything was easier. There was no border, there were no guards or visas. Marina was actually born in Estonia, but she later moved away. When she returned, Estonia was an independent state. Now her family live in the Estonian city of Narva, but as a Russian citizen, Marina must stay on the Russian side, in Ivangorod. Today, she works in a small museum where pictures of the bridge from both sides of the border are exhibited. Sometimes she misses the way things used to be. It was a catastrophe for Ivangorod when the cities were separated. We had no water facilities or purification plants. Almost everyone in Narva on the Estonian side has a Russian background, including Marina's sister, Nelly. But she has managed to get an Estonian passport, which she's pleased about. She says she sees a brighter future for her children in a country which belongs to the European Union. But she misses her sister. Whenever Nelly has time, she visits the Hermann Castle, a medieval fortress in Narva. From up here, there's a wonderful view of the other side of the river. On the riverbank over there is my sister's house. You can get a good view from here. Sometimes we come here and call my sister. Then we say, hello, look, we're waving at you. Inside, there's a museum where Merike Ivask helps visitors gain an understanding of the region's history. This castle was originally built by the Danes in the 13th century. Then came the Germans and eventually the Swedes. On the other side of the river, the Russians built the Ivangorod fortress. As they built the fortresses, the Germans and the Russians tried to outdo each other. The higher the fortress got on one side, the higher they'd build it on the other side. That's how the Hermann Castle came to be 71 meters tall. Both fortresses have become tourist attractions, but while there are no longer any battles here, tension and mistrust remain on both sides of the border. The bridge between Narva and Ivangorod is a symbol for Europe's ever-changing history. Germans, Russians and Swedes competed for power and influence here, building mighty fortresses to mark the borders of their empires. Later, during Soviet times, the bridge was just another crossing point between two provincial towns. Today, the bridge once again stands on the border between two countries. For the people living here, that makes life rather difficult. That's because this is now the external border of the EU. In recent years, security on the Estonian side has been increased. Border guards search for drugs and smuggled cigarettes, fake visas and passports. Estonia has invested in new technology and hired more border personnel. Narva is the final bastion before you enter Russian territory. I remember one time when a car drove up to our inspection point from the Russian side. Our guards inspected the car and discovered a hiding spot for cigarettes. These cigarettes were worth more than the car itself. But most people who cross the border here simply want to visit relatives on the other side, or go bargain hunting in the shops. It's rush hour and there are long lines. But this evening, Marina Tadyushevna is in luck. She gets over the border quickly. Her sister Nelly and her family are waiting. 
Nelly doesn't often cross over into Russia. As an Estonian citizen, she needs a visa, and that's quite expensive. We used to be able to get visas for free, but that's not possible anymore. If I wanted to get visas for each of us, it would cost me a month's salary. That's about 510 euros. Over time, the sisters have learned to live with the border between them. The Narva Bridge has become a part of their family history. So much has happened on this bridge. It has borne witness to so much. We've met there with friends and fallen in love for the first time. Everyone knows it. The Narva Bridge is about to be renovated and a second one will be built. The sisters hope that the improvement of the connection between their cities will eventually bring them closer together.